Hey guys, what's happening? Brian Borden here at Simplicity Bath. I've got a couple of quick thoughts I want to share with you today. We are in the middle of a tear out here. I'm going to show you in just a moment where another contractor, a well-meaning contractor, had come in and done had built a shower project for a client. We're here in League City. So the gentleman, nice guy, well-reviewed, uh, not a specialist, so does a number of different things and told the homeowner, uh, after it's all said and done, he really thought he'd done things correctly. And uh, obviously there was an effort made to do things properly. Uh, where the rubber meets the road, and I'm explaining this a lot of my videos, is a bathroom and a shower is a specialist's realm. If you are doing 10 different project types, stick to something else. A bathroom is for people who only do that project or who may also do kitchens, uh, because it's, there's a lot of specialty things that have to be done just right, including, and most importantly, the waterproofing. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of fail points here, what happened, and how we help you, the homeowner, avoid these types of pitfalls on your project. All right, let's go. So I'm going to flip the camera back around here and show you what we're looking at now. And again, the demo is partially completed. My guys are at lunch, so I snuck in here to get this video. And what you're seeing on the walls uh, obviously, this, this wall is not tiled anymore. It's been torn out. I always say how you do one thing is how you do everything. All right, not always applicable, but usually applicable. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things that, that really failed in here. And again, I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. First things first, we've got a pan liner here. Very common system that uh, people use. It's ubiquitous. It's just not normally done right. So first thing is the pan liner is the ultimate waterproof layer. Tile is the garment that you wear, just like I'm wearing a shirt here. The, the, the shirt is the garment. If you spray a water hose at me, the shirt will get wet, but the water will not penetrate and get to my internal organs. This is the same thing. This pan liner's purpose is to be the ultimate waterproof layer because tile and grout are not waterproof. They're not waterproof, never, never, never. Bear that in mind. You don't seal the grout to make tile waterproof. Common misconception. Uh, water is always gonna find a way through. So. Uh, when you piece a wall together from many different pieces, uh, every one of those seams is a fail point. And so what you're seeing here, pan liners go on the floor. This one is actually applied flat. First mistake, you have to put a pre-slope under any type of pan liner. Now, if you use a Schluter system or a foam tray that's already pre-sloped towards the drain, that pre-slope is already there. And so when you apply waterproof membrane on top of that, you are simply sloping everything to the or your your waterproof and everything to the drain point again it's already sloped so this is applied flat when we came in and tore this out today we had water up to the level of the top of that clamp ring drain there that you're seeing so we uh we tore this out there was sitting waters growth we we shop fact most of this stuff up uh first issue there no pre-slope and the water was sitting it stunk didn't didn't leak out the bottom but it, it's sitting flat you always want everything to slope to the drain and ultimately go down the drain. Point number two, if you are gonna do a pan line, it's gotta go up higher on the wall than this. They're barely six inches here. You can see they nailed it through. And each one of those nail points you see has got water damage in behind it. And again, that, that's a separate issue. Now, next issue was that they built a bench inside the liner on top of the liner. I guess they nailed it in over here. I wasn't here for that portion of the demo, but that seems to make sense. They didn't nail the bench down through the floor, toe nail it, uh, at least not that I can see, which, which is good, right? Because that would have been an even another big issue, but uh, you, you don't want to build a bench on its own inside of a pan liner. The pan liner needs to run over the bench, right? So they could have done a secondary waterproofing at the bench to prevent a lot of this issue, but they didn't. So anyway, we've got a flat surface, just to review with you, no pre-slope, pan liner not run up properly, pan liner not run properly over the curb. So you can see we've we've uh, pulled it back here, but this is as far as it went. Like it, it didn't, it just barely went over the front of the curb and this was where the shower door was that they're entering. Same over here, you can see it's left in place as well. Went a little further, but it didn't go over the front of the curb and it's nailed down on top. You do not want to nail through a waterproofing, an ultimate waterproofing layer. You're creating a penetration. So again, this is obviously I look at this and this is a, a lack of knowledge and a lack of ability to understand what you're doing when you're waterproofing. Every Look folks, everybody in the world says they can do a bathroom. Everybody sees that there's a lot of work, people want to have them done, they're pretty. Hey, I know somebody does tile, I'll just, I'll just sub out to a tile guy and he'll do it right. 
and, and nothing could be further from reality. You need to work with someone who does this every single day or you are prone to have this kind of problems. Again, nice guy, well-reviewed, but doesn't do this work all the time and thinks this is a proper way to do it and wasn't here, does not have a process and a system and SOPs for his teams and his crew and, and he's enforcing standards. And, and that's just not how most contractors operate, right? Any other business you work with, you expect that. But in this business, in this field, you, the lack of that standardization leads to this. You also don't have to have a license to do this type of work, which is unfortunate. Anyway, moving on, uh, the plumbing here. Let's look at the plumbing. What, what's going on here? So we've got what I often refer to as a Franken system. You've got a brass body valve, cool, cool with all that, but the problem is, oh, we've got copper, back to PEX. And we've, these nipples are ours, by the way. These are little stub outs here that basically close off these, these fixtures while we're working. So this is not, this was not here before. So ignore those three items there. Uh, four, five, ignore those. Otherwise the fittings, we haven't touched anything in here yet. You're seeing PEX, copper, you've got, what is that? One inch pipe, half inch pipe? What's going on here? Somebody obviously was doing a discount store run here and just kind of picked up what they had or reused stuff. This is not what you want to have done. You want to have someone consistently put things together. One last thing. This home has a manifold, which is for plumbing manifold with like you go outside, you have your circuit box, your electrical, you can turn off all the switches for every piece of, you know, every, every electrical area in the home, every dedicated circuit's got to shut off. Well, this home has a plumbing manifold put in by the original builder, which is a beautiful idea. And that allows you to do the same thing with your plumbing. You could turn off the laundry room or the bedroom or the, or the master bath. Uh, so there's a manifold. Well, the guy that did this work here, by the way, this, this portion we're not changing. Uh, he ran a new hot line from the water heater over and it's for this, I think it's for this jet here. Uh, and it's not run through the manifold. So we can no longer go to their manifold and, and shut all the water off to the bathroom. We have to go to the home's main shut off. So again, it's just an irritating type of thing. The little details here were just not planned and prepared for properly. If you are going to work with a contractor, they need to have not just be a nice guy who's well likable. They need to be very well educated on what they're doing for you. They need to be able to talk to you about the waterproofing and the plumbing and the tile setting techniques. There is a setting technique. You don't just slap it on the wall. Uh, we run into spot bonded tile jobs all the time. They're a problem. It leads to failures. Most contractors don't know that because they're too busy trying to do whatever work comes their way versus being a specialist and doing one thing and doing one thing very well to the exclusion of everything else, which is what we preach, as you know. So, oops, uh, coming back up here, we've got, obviously there's some water penetrating the wall here. I haven't figured out what's going on with that, but you should not have a, a random dark spot on the wall. We'll find that out in just a moment. Uh, but everything we revealed to you so far uh, has, has caused all this wood damage. There's, there's wood damage out here in the bedroom adjacent to the shower. I mean, this is a disaster and it was all avoidable if the original contractor who did this remodel had the knowledge, skills, and deep expertise necessary to do this one thing and do it very well. Uh, this is why getting three or four bids on a shower project is not a wise choice. You, you really need to have extreme expertise, find somebody who's very good at doing this one thing and do your best to work with that person. That, that's a, a much better uh, chance of a successful outcome for something like this versus, you know, the, the traditional system. Okay. So, uh, everybody's going to show up and be nice and tell you they can do it. And they're not going to tell you they're, they're, they're not going to tell you, Hey, I don't have many years of experience. I've only done a handful of these types of projects. They're going to be, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I can do that. I'll do it. I'll take care of you. I'll do a great job. You're going to love me. I'm highly reviewed, blah, blah, blah. Right. They're not going to tell you that this is what happens when, you know, there, there's like seven or eight different fail points and they've checked the boxes on every single one of them here. You know, this is, this is a problem. So anyway, I want to show you guys that we run this all the time, by the way. And if it sounds like I'm ranting, I am, this is a big problem. This is totally solvable. These people should be licensed out of existence. Nice guy or not, you should not be in business to do this type of work and, and you're not accountable, right? Uh, this is, this is crazy. This should, this should never happen. So anyway, we will not treat you this way. If you work with us, we spend a lot of time planning to get the details just right for your job. 
I spend that time planning because it's necessary. Not everybody wants to be deluged with details. I totally get it. And we, we don't want to hit you over the head with technical stuff if that's not your thing. But it is important that you understand that you're not purchasing a widget from Amazon. This is a very detailed, complicated service. It, you're not buying paintwork. You're not buying you know, a garage door. A shower has got a number of systems that all have to work together. It's a very first world product, by the way. The ability to walk in your home, control the temperature of the water, have a, a you know rainfall come on to you. It, it's all done just right and the water goes down the drain. The moisture vapor goes away and you go on with your life like it's no big deal. That's a really, really nice thing if you look globally at, at how people live. That, that's a nice first world thing to have, but it's gotta be done just right if you want it to work for the long term. So we'll spend the time planning. We have the right people working for us who can build these types of things and build them waterproof where you will not be in this situation. We've never denied a warranty claim. Any client of ours has any type of issue at all with their project. I've had the same number for 20 years. Feel free to give me a call. Uh, I'm the owner of the business. And, and of course, me and my team will take good care of you. So we will help you avoid this exact type of thing. And we would love to do a project uh, for you. Hopefully not the second time around after you've had this happen. So uh, when it comes time to do a remodel, do your homework, do it right the first time. Work with an expert versus one of three people that stick their hand up and say, I'll do it and I'm a nice guy and you'll like me and, and I have a cheap price, okay? So give us a call when you're ready, 832-464-7251. Again, my name is Brian. I'm the owner of Simplicity Bath and Shower and we service all of Greater Houston. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. We'll talk to you soon.